Lincoln Financial Field, and it is indeed home to the 2018 Super Bowl champion Eagles. The Lake also is home to the Temple Owls. Today, two teams get set to square off in an intra-conference battle in the AAC. As we'll see a team fresh and ready to go off a of bye week, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Taking on the winners of five straight, the Temple Out. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollack and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Temple about to kick it off and get this game underway. And they desperately wanted to attempt to return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. The Golden Hurricane offense takes the field as we get this game underway. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. We've got to stop him if we're going to have success today. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Give to the back. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. And the crowd is getting into it early here on third and 10. Williams will pass. Quickly out to the tight end. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Running it back. It's right. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. The Owls' offense will go to work for the first time today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. On second down, he'll let it fly. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Takes it from the gun on third down. Snagged in the middle, it's Smith. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps his drive moving. And the Owls will snap it on first and 10. Give to the running back. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. He looks that one in nicely. It's a fumble. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Man, that's a big mistake, and listen, I'm still going to force feed my playmakers. If I'm that quarterback, I'm that OC. Hang on here. The coach has called a timeout. He wants the officials to take another look. Thinks he's got a good shot at getting this one overturned. Might have to give that coach a flag and a whistle. He was right on in his view of the play, and the officials agree and overturn the call. Let's go! Dropping back, it's Simon. Trying to get behind the defense. Pulls it in inside the 10. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Wants to go up top. Got it. They will score. Touchdown, Temple. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that one. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. 
He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Leaves it with the running back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Presley. And he'll have to check his fillings after that lick, but he did get the first down. They've got it at the 37, it's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Dances away to buy time. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. Tulsa seems to have the whole playbook working. Gives it to the back on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on second down. Rides to the back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. If you're going to stop the run game, you better be physical up front on the defensive line. They've got some maulers. They've got some dudes with bad intentions. Nice play there. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. Williams looking for a man. And the quarterback is snowed under. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put 60 Bs on the field in my dime package and I can still get home rushing four. My guys up front are better than your guys and we're going to go prove it. They did just there. And the returner will be knocked down. Temple takes over and the offense will return to the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, and it's really hard to stop, Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next turn. Really nice job to get him past the sticks, pick up the first down at the 30. The Owls come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll give it to the back. At the 40, there he goes. Brought down at the 45 after a 15-yard pickup. They've gotten this drive going a couple of first downs already. It's first and 10 from the 45. Throws to the wideout. Lost the defense. He's wide open. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. On the defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. To throw, it's Simon. Uncorks one, and his throw is incomplete. And I tell you what, we've kind of gotten to the point where we expect QBs to be robots and just never to miss and always put it right on the face mask, or right on the numbers. And right there, you could tell he just missed a little bit, a little bit off, and I guarantee he's tapping his helmet saying, hey, that's my bad. Coming after him, and he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. And this one will be a 40-yard try from the left hatch. 
Never a doubt. And that will extend their lead even further. Putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it out. It's Presley. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second guessing that return. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You gotta hold serve at this point, right? You gotta drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. Dude. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Going to the running game. Look out, he's got room to the 43-yard line and a first down for this offense. Tulsa wasting no time. Here comes the jet sweep. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Here comes the offense on second down. Williams will pass. Fires to the wideout. Man, did he have a read on that one and almost had the pick. It will be third down. We'll see if the offense can move the chains after that incompletion. On third down, he drops to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Preston. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a three. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't hook up. Tulsa will be forced to send out the punt team. He'll try to really get into this one. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spotted. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. They got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. Back to throw, it's Simon. They're setting up the screen. Running with power. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and ten. He wants to throw it again. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Wants to throw on second down. Buys a little time. 
And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. Temple lines up quickly. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Caught near the sticks. It's Adams. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Temple looking for a touchdown from the red zone. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he'll fire. He's got it. And he will score. Touchdown, now. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. Look, it's still early, but we have some real distance being put on the scoreboard right now. You do. It's early, but you got to find something positive. Right now, everything going in the other direction. So how are you going to respond when you've been hitting the mouth early in this football game? Got to find something positive quick. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Florida is currently ahead on the scoreboard, but it's clear Tim Tebow's not out there. And because of that, I don't see a blowout today in the swamp. They're up by 10 over Kentucky. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Didn't have much of a choice there, but to get rid of it. The incompletion leads to second and 10. Williams looking for a man. Complete. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play wide receiver basically for him, but you gotta find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's gonna catch the ball consistently. Grab near the marker, it's Benjamin. Oh, it's a fumble! And the defense jumps on it, they get that turnover. Yeah, you see wide receivers make those catches and try to get upfield, and now turn into a running back and make something happen, and a lot of times you just forget. Throws toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. In second and ten, he'll throw again. They're bringing heat. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. And that is no good. So, guys, a missed opportunity to expand the lead. It's still a 17-point pusher. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's going to pass. Fires one high and deep. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Ready to go here in the second half, and Tulsa will kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Temple takes over, and the offense will return to the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They didn't, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. 
Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Temple lining up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. We'll get another look at this Tulsa offense. To the ground with the back. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. They'll snap this one from the 42. It's first and 10. Use the play fake now to throw. Might be looking to run. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. Tulsa wasting no time. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting to move, it's first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Williams will pass. Got his man to the left. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Hey, listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually, keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ballgame. And with the extra point, they close to within 10, down 17-7. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Temple takes over, and the Owls send the offense back onto the field. They still have the lead here, Jesse, but this would be a good time to put together a drive. You're right, Reese. You can't rest easy right now. You just watch the opponent drive down the field and score a touchdown of their own, so you've got to answer that here. Your playmakers better step up. And I don't know what it is about momentum. In all the locker rooms, in all the years, coaching, everything, you can't quantify it. You can't measure it. And the momentum has swung to the other side. You've got to get it back. Tackled at the 28. It's a pickup of five. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. You got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. Got a man. It's right. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And the Owls will line it up on first and ten. He wants to throw. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. They'll leave it with him. They get him on the ground, but he's got enough to give Temple the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I, I just I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I... Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. 
You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football, and you can tell maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small game, but some information you gathered maybe for the next time you get to run an RPO. Complete to the left. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. From the red zone, looking for a man. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. Guys, it's Temple with the lead here at the end of the quarter. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Looking for a man, it's Simon. Unloads to the wideout. Touchdown, Owls! And they take it in for six more points. They're on the board again, and it looks as if this winning streak is going to continue. Really nice job working the route, getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Golden Hurricane offense comes back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over in football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical run by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. At the 35, he's loose. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, getting the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. Off the play fake on first down to throw. The sure hands, it's Ballard. And he's down after the short completion. He did not make it to the first down mark. You just got the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You've got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first down. You've got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. i got to go get that first down. He did a nice job of it. He'll pull it on the read. And the ball squirted out. He's got the ball, and he'll try to pick up a few. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Unleashes one deep. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one dimension. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Barrels all the way to the 29, a gain of six. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. The Owls will move the sticks with the first down. And obviously, this is one of the best offenses in the country, and it's because they get first downs. Top 10 in the nation picking up first downs. How nice is it to know you can turn around, hand it off to that guy right there, and let him go to work? Chains are set, and Temple has it with another first and 10. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. 
stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense. Now they got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. To the air, it's Simon. He's got his man. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. The give from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. Looking for room. It's Washington. That will be the final play as they make the stop, and the clock has expired here. All business today for this ball club. They come out, and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward, but ultimately they were the better team today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.